Magical Pebble There was a bunny who loved to collect pebbles. Everywhere she went, she would look out for exquisite and unique pebbles to add to her collections. She had a wide variety of colorful stones. Blue, red, yellow, green, even rainbow-colored ones. They came in many different shapes and sizes. Bunny would use them to decorate her house. One day, Bunny chanced upon a white and smooth pebble while skipping in a garden. What a fine little pebble, Bunny thought to herself while holding it with her palms. She lifted the pebble towards the sunlight so she can examine the colors. Strangely, the stone seemed to be changing, its shape moving slightly from a different angle. What an interesting stone, thought Bunny. She quickly places it gently inside her basket to bring home, so she can admire this rare pebble. However, as she continued her journey back home, the stone seemed to be alive. Bunny stopped for a moment and observed intently, making sure she was not hallucinating. It's an egg, an egg, and it's alive, exclaimed Bunny. She carefully wrapped the egg with her towel to keep it warm. Once she was back home, she made a warm, comfortable nest with pieces of cotton and feathers, while lightly putting the egg inside. I am going to take good care of it, she smiled. A few days later, Bunny heard a strange noise coming from the egg. Feeling excited, she rushed to the nest to check on the egg. The egg had cracked. A small creature crawled out. It had a long body covered with scales and was walking on two feet. Its body glowed like fire. And it seemed to have wings but without feathers. As it was not fully developed. What a strange creature. It must be a chicken. Bunny exclaimed, I'm right. It's really a chicken. The chicken took a deep breath and grunted deeply. Then it said with a squeaky voice, I'm hungry. It looked around the house and started pecking away at the tiny stones. Oh no, don't eat my pebbles. Bunny was taken aback by the sudden actions. The chicken continued to gorge at the pebbles until it was full. Bunny was shocked as she had painstakingly collected these pebbles for ages. They were all unique and special to her. After that, chicken was done eating, it grew feathers magically. The colors changed from an orange glow to beautiful golden feathers. Thank you, Bunny. I am the Phoenix Queen. I had turned into an egg as I consumed too much power during a battle with the dragons. Thank you for taking care of me. Sorry that I have eaten your pebbles. But some of your pebbles contained magic power that was vital to me. It helped me recover quickly. I am grateful to you, said Phoenix. Take my golden feather. It will protect you, continued the phoenix. Even though Bunny was saddened by his lost pebbles, he was glad it helped the phoenix. As such, he accepted the golden feather. The next moment, the phoenix disappeared. Bunny sighed and was determined to get his pebble collection up again. The next day, Bunny went out to find more unique pebbles. Something shiny at the edge of a cliff caught his attention. He went near and saw that it was a delicate piece of rock that looked like a gemstone. He stretched his hand to try to reach the gemstone but was unable to get it.
Then, he decided to climb down the edge. However, Bunny accidentally stepped on loose soil and tripped. Just then, the golden feather flew out from Bunny's pocket and turned into a big cushion that caught Bunny just in time. When he woke up, he saw a beautiful white egg beside him. It was the same as the one he found. Straight away, he knew it was the phoenix egg. The phoenix had used his power to save Bunny. Bunny was grateful that the phoenix saved him. He immediately knew what to do with the egg. Time, he prepared a massive amount of pebbles for the phoenix to hatch. The, the phoenix shall have a magical pebble feast. Bunny smiled. Thank <music> you.